Good evening. With Kai Tomori with us, who would like to get started? Evening. Chelsea and Ajax obviously both go into this uh, game in good form. What type of match are you expecting here in Amsterdam? Um, a very tight one. Um, as you said, both teams are coming into the game with good form, and um, you know, obviously, it's a big game um, in the group. And um, you know, Ajax is such a big club and with great history. And um, you know, it's a it's a nice stadium. You know, such great players that have played here. So um, yeah, we're expecting a tough game. How far do you think? How far do you expect Chelsea can go in this competition? Um, I don't really um, think we can put a limit on ourselves. I think that we just have to go in game by game, given our best. Um, as you said, we've been in good form. We're just trying to carry that on for the rest of the season you know, in every competition. But obviously the Champions League is special and it's very difficult. So um, especially with this young team that we have, you know, we're gaining experience every single game, but we want to carry on going. What about you? How would you sum up your season so far? Yeah, it's been good. Um, uh, it's gone better than I probably expected it would go, but um, you know, I'm working hard every every day, day in, day out, trying to, trying to improve and help the team as much as I can. And um, obviously last month getting my getting the senior call up was great. And now I just want to just carry on going. I'm motivated now. Just on the end here. Front row. Hi, Afikai. Um I appreciate we're here for the Champions League, but you just mentioned your senior call up and we haven't spoken to you since Bulgaria. Mm. Um, how did you find that night um, in Bulgaria and Sofia, which was a tough night for everybody involved with England? And can I just ask as well, the, the FA have offered counselling. Did you feel any emotional scarring from it at all or do you feel okay? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a, it was a difficult sort of experience, um, but I think that what we wanted to do was just play our football. We wanted to win the game and um, that's what we did, you know. When when um, when stuff like that happens, you just kind of have to try and block it out, even though you know it's it's so blatant. But um, you know, we just wanted to go out there, play our game, win the game, and um, yeah, you know, the manager spoke to us after and said that um, you know there's help if we need it. So um, yeah, it was um, just one of those things that happened. But you know, we'll focus on the game. Can, can I just check? Do, do you feel like you'll need to take any of that help though, or or, or do you feel fine? I think that um, the whole the whole sort of setup of the FA and the manager and the people around us um, made it clear that if we need to, um, that we can. So um, you know, I feel like we've got good good staff and good teammates around us to talk to if we need to as well. Next, ah, this gentleman, second row. You're obviously a, a young and developing team. How how much do you think you'll learn about how the level you're at and how far you need to go over the next two games, back to back games against Ajax? Yeah, I think that um, obviously, uh, as I said, it's a big club and um, you know, games like this is where you probably learn a lot. Um, but um, every game as a, as a team we're learning um, and you know, every game throws up its different challenges but, and I'm sure tomorrow will throw up its different challenges. And so far, um, I think that we've, we've done pretty well. I handled them pretty well. So um, hopefully tomorrow we can do the same. Um, you, you saw racial abuse in, in Bulgaria over the, over the weekend. We had that in England at Haringey Borough. I wonder if you had any reaction to some of the scenes that, that, that took place with the Yeovil fans abusing some of the players there and what that maybe says about the state of things back in our own country as well, that we have to maybe look at some of the things that are happening there. Yeah, I mean, you know, racism, wherever it is, is, is not... Um it's not a laughing matter and um, you know, it's something that um, needs to be kicked out of the game. Um, you know, it's, just a, it's a gradual process, you know, it's not going to stop overnight and we just have to keep on drumming it into people, you know, the fans and everyone that, you know, it's not accepted. Uh, Liam, and then to John. Fikai, a couple of weeks ago, the manager said that you'd worked your way to being number one or number two in the centre-back pecking order at Chelsea. Um, first of all, how did you feel when you heard those words and, and what do you think you have to do to stay there? Um, obviously, it's nice to hear that. Um, you know, coming into the season, you know, I just wanted to to, to do that, just that. You know, to try and you know, stamp my place in the team. And um, the manager gave me an opportunity, and he's carried on giving me opportunities. You know, even if I make mistakes or I'm not quite in the right position or whatever, he helps me out. And um, you now he's he's developed me a lot. And um, 
and you know get into that position was just kind of you know training hard every day, working hard, listening to what the manager says, taking on board what the other players are saying to me, and um, I think that you know I just have to keep on doing that and improving on that to stay in the team. Good, John on the front row, and then the gentleman in the middle. <coughs> I was just going to ask you, just in the context of, of, of the group, really, and the way that the group has shaped up after the opening two sets of results. I mean, it's a huge game for, for Chelsea. And uh, I mean, is, is that the sort of occasion do you think the players will embrace and get excited to, no matter how much the pressure is on tomorrow night? Yeah, for sure. I think that, um, you know, we're a young team and, um, you know, we always talk about, you know, playing in the Champions League. And, you know, these are the kind of games we're going to be playing in, you know, high pressure games and um, big games. and. Um, yeah, well, we're excited. We're relishing the opportunity, and hopefully, you know, tomorrow we can go out there and put on a performance and put ourselves in a good position for the next round of the group games. You're playing uh, alongside uh, Sula against uh, Tadic. You know what kind of number nine Tadic is? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, last year in the Champions League, you know, Ajax did so well, and he was a you know a very big part of that. And um, you know, we know the kind of movements he likes to make and, you know, he's not really the typical sort of number nine that will be running in behind, you know, he likes to play with the ball and link up with the whole team, so... What, what are you going to do when he's dropping back in the midfield? Uh, are one of the two uh, central defenders, you or Zuma, uh, going through and mark him there or let him go? No, I think it depends on the situation. You know, sometimes, you know, as a defender, you have to make a decision just on the spot and you have to go in and mark them or sometimes you have enough time to... To, uh, to communicate to the midfielders in front of you. So I think that you know, I'm sure the game tomorrow will throw up those different situations and we just have to deal with it. And that's just part of the game. Tricky striker, eh? Yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. Good luck. Thank you. And right at the back to finish. Right at the back, the cameraman. <laughs> Uh, it's a question for uh, Brazilian television about William. Of course, that uh, there are many young players on the Chelsea squad right now. How important is an uh, experienced player like William for you guys? Very important. Um, you know, you know, as I said, many of us, this is our first season in the Champions League and William, you know, he's played in the, at the highest level, not only for in um, club football, but internationally as well. So. You know, having that sort of experience is vital for the team. You know, he not only you know talks to us off the pitch, but on the pitch, you know, he he plays by example. Um, you know, he shows what we need to be doing to get to the level that he's been at. And um, you know, not only William, you know, or the whole team has been doing that and helping us and talking to us and you know guiding us through games and training sessions as well. So you know, it's been a it's been a good good start to the season. You know, for us, you know, integrating as a team with the young players and the more experienced players, and I think that we're just going to get stronger. Okay, thanks everyone. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.